Hi folks, this is a quick video to show you how to use the blog feature on D2L. So you want to log into D2L and go to the course that you want to create a blog for. Then go to the more section of your menu and choose blog. And by default, it's going to just be named after you. So mine is called Sarah Galasso blog. Um, let's say you want to do a critique and you want to upload three different projects for students to comment on. You would go to new entry. And then um, since I'm going to be uploading three separate movies for them to critique, I'm going to call this one of three, two of three, and three of three. So I might call it critique or you will call it by the name of the class too. So AM 105 critique, milestone 10, one of three. And then you might say, hi folks, please watch the following story reel and make at least two comments or suggestions for the filmmakers. And then what you want to do is to embed the movie so that it's actually appearing right on this page and folks don't have to click on a link to go anywhere. So in order to do that, you want to you know, hover over this insert stuff, click and then there's a section called enter embed code. So that's really just the H HTML code um, for the movie on YouTube. Or so we can just click enter embed code. And then I'm going to go to my movie that I want to embed that's on YouTube. And down where it says share, there's different ways to share. You can get just the link, but you can also click on embed. And after you do that, this is the actual HTML code right here. So click on this, click copy or control C. Then you can go back to your blog and uh, control V or paste and then click next. And there it is. There's a, a preview of what your movie is going to look like. You can then hit insert. Your movie will now appear in the blog. And then I think I'm also going to add this is one of three movies. Make sure to post all comments by Thursday. Three, let's see, what's Thursday? 326 at midnight. So you want to give them a deadline by which to comment. Um, just to help them follow some sort of a schedule. And then you can click save. And there it is. So if I switch to, I can make comments here just by clicking add comment and then, you know, typing something in the box and hitting save. But um, I'm going to show you if I switch to the student role, what it's going to look like for them. So if I switch view as student, and then I go to the blog. It looks pretty much the same and they can also in the same way that you can just click on add comment. Uh, this is looking great. However, I would see if you can increase the audio quality. And then as soon as they hit save, their comment will show up underneath. And then anyone else can add another comment. Um, and then again, to review, to add another, we'll add one more. Just to show you what it looks like when you have two. Uh, we might say AM 105, critique, try to name it the same. Milestone 10, part two of three. And now I'm just going to come back to my YouTube channel to find a different movie. And I'm going to go to share, embed, click on the embed code, copy, go back to my entry. Hi folks. 
this is the second of three story reels. Please add at least two comments by Thursday. Three twenty six at at midnight. And then again, click here on insert stuff, enter embed code, control V for paste, next, insert, and then hit save. And uh, the reason I wanted to do at least two was to show you these are going to appear in um, reverse chronological order. So the newest blog entry, and this is true of any blog, appears at the top. So be mindful of that. And if you want them to be read in order, I guess you could purposely like post them in the opposite order so that the part one of three is on top. Um, but if they've ever read a blog, they understand how blogs work.